All right, guys, today I'm gonna talk about Sprout and Pout. Now, Sprout and Pout is uh, the nickname that we have for when the grass has sprouted, but it looks like it's not doing anything. You can see my finger, it's still about an inch tall, and that's it, that's all it's been doing. It looks like it, you know, it's coming in a little bit thicker, but nothing is growing vertically, so I can't mow it. It's still been about two months since I've mowed. But, the grass is doing something. You'll notice each sprout now has multiple leaflets. So, it can look like that, it's not actually doing anything, but it is. It's growing the roots, which is very important, and it's starting to grow more uh, leaves, which is important. And then at some point, it's just gonna take off. Now with Kentucky bluegrass, this process can be weeks before you start seeing that big lush growth that you're expecting, um, which is why we call it sprout and pout because everybody starts to pout and get all upset thinking something's wrong when really it's just Kentucky bluegrass takes a long time to get going. Once it's going, it's great. So stay patient and uh, yeah, that's, that's all there really is to it. Um, oh, and don't try to fertilize your way out of this process. Um, it doesn't do anything. Um, obviously you want to have proper fertilization, but um, putting down more fertilizer isn't going to fix anything. So I'm actually going to bring you to a spot in the backyard that is out of the sprout and pout stage. It actually happened within the last 24 hours, so the rest of it will probably start to uh, pick up soon. But uh, you'll notice it's getting vertical growth. see right here yeah, it's almost two inches tall a little bit taller so this just happened recently I come out here with the kids all the time so it's very noticeable and so it really did just pop up you know maybe an inch overnight so it's pretty cool watching this happen now as I'm surveying the landscape, I'm noticing areas that are bare, but you know what? We'll deal with that later. Ooh, here's another spot that is out of the sprout and pout stage. So we're getting there, we're close. All right, so if, you, uh, if you're in the sprout and pout stage, just be patient. That's all you can do, be patient. 